the best double majors for technology degrees. That's what we're going to be talking about today. But before we get into that, make sure to gently tap the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, college degrees, careers, and opportunities that are going to lead you to success. And we also go over how you can avoid some of the common financial traps that so many people fall for. If that sounds like something that interests you and you haven't done it already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss out. All right, so this was a highly requested video. You guys have been asking me to do these videos on double majors for the longest time. And most of the time you ask about individual majors, but that would take forever to make so many of those videos. So I'm just gonna group them all into the types of majors. So first let's go over double majors where it's a technology degree plus a science degree. So what we're gonna be looking for here is skills that go together synergistically. So there's a lot of types of skills out there that when you put them together, they don't really make that much of a difference. They're not gonna help you out that much. And then there's other types of skills when you put them together, there's not that many people out there that have those combined skill sets, and that's going to give you a huge advantage. So one example of this would be food science and technology. With this degree, you would expect to make around $50,000 a year starting out and $92,000 in mid-career pay. Now, a lot of science degrees on their own, to be honest with you guys, are a little bit overrated. The reason for this is because it's usually very difficult for you to get a job with just a bachelor level degree. Many times you'll have to go back to school in order to get a master's or some type of professional degree. However, technology in general is probably the hottest thing right now, whether you're talking about industries, companies, or skills. Technology is currently changing the world. Lots of things are becoming streamlined and automated because of the advances that are coming from technology. So one career path you could go down here is becoming an agricultural and food scientist. They make around $65,000 a year. There's 34,000 jobs available, and it's growing at 6%, which is faster than average. Now, ZipRecruiter put out this really cool tool called the Skills Index, where they rank all kinds of different skills and how valuable they are to companies across the market. This isn't necessarily their inherent value. I'm not saying that if a skill score is really low that it has no value, but in terms of what companies are willing to pay you, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to this skills index. So for example, industrial sewing scores 8 out of 100 and software engineering has the highest score and that's 88 out of 100. And if you look at this skills index, you'll see that a lot of the skills at the very top are going to be technology related. Speaking of technology, what if you wanted to double major in two different technology degrees. So a technology degree plus another one. So you could maybe double major in information science and technology and you'd start off around $60,000 a year and $105,000 in mid-career pay. Or you could try computer science and information technology and you'd start off around $63,000 a year and $99,000 in mid-career pay. Now there are a ton of different jobs in tech and they consistently score high when it comes to salary and also job satisfaction. For instance, you could become a software developer and they make around $107,000 a year. There's 1.4 million jobs available and it's growing at a ridiculous 22%, which is much faster than average. And computer and information technology occupations in general are growing at about 11% over the next 10 years, which is three times faster than the average. And on top of that, the median annual wage for everybody working in technology is around $88,000 a year, which is over twice what the median annual wage for all workers is. So if you look hard enough, you can definitely find some really good synergistic combinations. Next on the list, we're going to be talking about technology degrees plus engineering degrees. So one example of this one would be an electrical engineering degree plus a computer science degree. You'd start off making around $101,000 a year and mid-career pay would be $152,000. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Another one is you could do computer science plus engineering and you'd start off making $74,000 a year and mid-career pay would be $124,000. Now one thing I will say about these is engineering degrees are extremely difficult. Like I I don't think I would have been able to do one at 18 years old. I don't think I was mature enough to do it. So it's one thing to kind of just like look on the internet and see people who have done these, but it's a whole other thing to actually be able to do the degree yourself. And a lot of people have trouble getting an engineering degree done in just four years. So if you're going to be double majoring in engineering and something else, it's going to be even more difficult to do it in four years. So keep that in mind. Sometimes I get some silly comments from people saying they're going to like double major in like two different engineering degrees and then minor in computer science and then triple major in something else. That's going to be really difficult for you to do realistically and your time would be much better spent learning skills, getting an internship, or networking. Now one career path you could go down is becoming a computer hardware engineer. They make around $117,000 a year. There's 71,000 jobs available but it's only growing at about 2% which is very slow when it comes to technology related careers. Now one other thing that I will say about engineering degrees is when I did my video on the degrees that create the most millionaires, engineering did actually come up as number 
one. And I don't think it's all about just the fact that there's a lot of high paying jobs out there for engineers. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that engineering is basically just practical problem solving. And there's another thing that's also practical problem solving, which is entrepreneurship. So a lot of engineers do end up starting their own businesses. They solve problems that the market needs solved and they end up getting rich from that. That's just something to keep in mind if you're somebody who might wanna start a business in the future, engineering might be a good degree for you to consider. Next one on the list is going to be a technology degree plus a math degree. And the first one we're gonna look at here is gonna be computer science plus mathematics. With this degree, you would expect to earn $66,000 a year starting out and 118,000 in mid-career pay. Now, one career path you might go down that I really like, I think it's one of the newer ones, but it's also really good, is gonna be data science. And there's a couple different occupations that fall under that umbrella category, but overall they make around $100,000 a year. And I talked about this before, but data is incredibly valuable. It actually surpassed oil as being the most valuable thing out there. And this is why there's so much controversy about different websites taking your data, like Facebook, for instance. But regardless of the controversy, like I said, there's probably gonna be more regulations and stuff like that in the future, but I still think it's a pretty good career path for you to consider. Now, this one is gonna run into the same issues as the engineering degree. A lot of math-related degrees, like mathematics or statistics, are going to be very difficult. So for instance, in the survey that I sometimes use, math ranked as the 13th most difficult degree, and I think that's relatively accurate. It's probably in the top 10 or top 20. So you do wanna be careful if you choose to go down both routes because a technology degree on its own is probably gonna be relatively difficult, and then a math degree is gonna be even more difficult, most likely. One type of degree that isn't as known for being as difficult is going to be a business degree, and that's what we're gonna be talking about next, a technology degree plus a business degree. And this is a really good combination in my opinion, just because of the fact that most people probably can't get like a technology degree and an engineering degree or a technology degree and a math degree, just because that's really difficult. So for instance, one double major you could get would be operations management and information systems. With this double major, you'd make around $61,000 a year starting out and 114,000 in mid-career pay. Another one you might go for is business and information technology. With this one, you'd make around $58,000 a year starting out and 108,000 in mid-career pay. Another really great combination would be accounting and computer systems. And with this one, you'd make $60,000 a year starting out and 103,000 in mid-career pay. And to be honest, honest with you, out of all the different combinations when it comes to technology degrees, I think this one is probably the best. Technology skills in general are extremely hot right now, but business skills are kind of evergreen. They're going to be hot now and they're going to be hot 100 years ago and they're probably going to be hot 100 years into the future. And the combination of these two things together, especially at this particular time in history, is a great combo. So one career path you might go down is becoming a computer and information systems manager. They make around $146,000 a year. There's four hundred. 61,000 jobs available and it's growing at 10% which is much faster than average. Now another really great thing about both technology degrees as well as business degrees is in my opinion they are relatively future proof. So a lot of people talk about automation, AI, and all that sort of thing. And you know, there are a lot of degrees out there that are gonna teach you skills that will likely be automated. In my opinion, technology and business related degrees are some of the least likely types of degrees to be automated. So for instance, computer and information systems managers have around a 4% chance of being automated, according to willrobotstakemyjob.com. And I tend to agree with that. I think people who know technology skills, and especially people who know business skills, even if the job does get automated, those skills will transfer really well into a different job. I also think that getting a technology degree and a business degree would be great for you if you're thinking about maybe starting a business in the future. You're gonna be learning business skills, but business skills that are specifically tailored to the technology industry, which is probably one of the industries that's the easiest to start a successful business. The next one I'm gonna be talking about is a technology degree plus pretty much any degree that you enjoy. And the reason I say this is because for the most part, technology degrees are relatively practical and good on their own. And doing something else that you enjoy might make you happy. So for instance, two of my biggest passions are going to be history as well as film. And I will say that for a lot of these liberal arts, you know, social science types of degrees, they do teach you a lot of soft skills that can be useful in other areas of your life things like critical thinking, formulating an argument, and communication. The issue with getting something like a film degree, for instance, is that, you know, let's say you type in film degree on monster.com, there's only about 2,600 listings on monster.com that have the keyword film degree in it. Whereas if you type in information technology degree, there's around 174,000. So of course, that's not a perfect example. There's probably other factors that go into whether they have that keyword on the job listing or not. But generally speaking, it is kind of a red flag when you don't see that many people 
people putting those keywords on job listings. And the next thing that I'd like to talk about is maybe you should consider not double majoring. The truth is there are some examples of times where double majoring will be great for you. If you've done your due diligence, you figured out what career path you want to go down, you've contacted people who are working in that career, and then you ask them, hey, maybe, you know, would it be a good idea if I double major in this and this? And then they tell you, hey, that would be a great idea. That would really make your application stand out to the businesses. Then great. Definitely do it. Absolutely. Double major. But a lot of the time, double majoring is going to be a lot of extra effort. And that extra time that you would spend would probably be better spent, you know, getting an internship, maybe learning extra skills or networking. It might be better for you just to take extra classes on the side, maybe learn the skills. There's lots of different ways that you can learn things out there. YouTube's a great way. Skillshare is another great way for you to learn things. Maybe you work on a project that you can actually show a business owner or a hiring manager that you know what you're doing. All of these things would likely be better for you and they take a lot less time than double majoring. I just thought it would be important to mention this because I get a lot of comments on my videos like, Shane, should I a triple major in, you know, computer engineering, computer science, and management information technology? And the answer to that is 99% of the time, no. What you should do is just choose one of those, maybe minor in the other one, or just learn extra skills in some of the other ones that were mentioned. Because the truth is, especially when it comes to good degrees like technology related degrees, they're usually pretty good. They're already pretty good on their own and so you likely won't have to get another degree in order to get hired. So in many cases, your time might be better spent somewhere else. You might even want to, and I know this might be difficult for some of my viewers to understand and comprehend, you might even want to save a little bit of time to have fun in college. Welcome to college, boys. But yeah, it's true. A lot of people fall into the trap of, you know, double majoring in this, you know, joining every single club, you know, doing all this extra stuff. I know I fell into that trap of like joining 10 different clubs. And the truth is maybe joining one or two clubs would have been a good idea, but joining 10 different clubs, it makes almost no difference. The difference between, you know, being a member of 10 clubs versus two clubs is nothing. My time would have been much better spent if I was doing projects, networking, working on my skills, getting real work-life experience by doing internships. But yeah, guys, uh, recently I've been working on this really exciting project. I'm planning on making the best and most comprehensive list of college degrees in the entire world. And version 1.1 at this time is going to be down in the description below. It is going to be in my Patreon. It's still a work in progress. I think it's not going to be done for probably another six months or so. And then I'm also planning on putting other really cool content in my Patreon that doesn't really make sense to go on YouTube. So check that out down in the description below. There's going to be links there. And if you haven't done it already, go ahead and gently tap the like button in order to defeat the evil YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button. Only 20% of you are subscribed. What the heck's going on? Hit the notification bell. Comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. Share the video. And but whatever you do, do not leave. Check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.